As per today's augury, a specific issue stood out as being of utmost importance. I bring forth the following relatio, the result of which is to be decided per discussionem and as usual before the sun sets. The complaint is brought forth by Lucius Licinius Lucullus concerning alleged wrongdoing and infamous conduct by Tiberius Vitellius Caevola and his brother Vibius Vitellius Lurco. Are both parties present? I am present. As am I. Hmm. Weird that Vitellius Lurco would be here to do the talking. Where is Skyola? He is the accused. Are both parties represented? I shall represent the defendant. Very well. For the benefit of all present, would the owner of the complaint restate their accusation? Found out. So you do have evidence. Interesting. Do you accept the accusation, Kikaro? I see no reason to comment at this stage. May I humbly remind the Magistra? He who makes the claim has the burden of proof. We shall rest until sufficient proof is presented to eliminate all shadow of a doubt. I was just trying to be helpful. The defendant is always at a disadvantage. I'm sure you mean usually and not always. As you wish. Present your evidence. Preposterous. Do you think my client would be foolish enough to commit a crime and put his signature on the evidence? The evidence is material, Kikero. There is no room for interpretation. The crates do carry Skeola's signature. I have investigated them myself. I concur. Is there anyone who would contest my findings? I admit, the evidence looks damning. So, do the defendants admit their guilt? Are the Witelli guilty of all crimes stated or implied? Of course not. For starters, the evidence proves only treason. Only? What else is needed to declare this man infamous? Do not interrupt the speaker. No harm done. My dear friend Kato is correct. The evidence is enough to declare one infamous. That one is Tiberius Witellius Skyewola. Nowhere in any findings can you conjure the ability to implicate my client, Wibius Witellius Lurco. That, of course, depends on the nature of the treason. But that's largely irrelevant. That is literally the topic of our discussion, Kikero. How in the world can you say it's irrelevant? There simply is no case. Witellius Skyewola cannot be punished. Your rhetorical games grow tiresome. You have admitted the evidence is rock solid. This should be interesting. Simply because the man is dead. Therefore, he cannot be accused. Therefore, the case is null and void. Senators, people of Rome, of course the evidence is clear. I accept my brother's guilt. It is a stain on our family name. A stain we will quite possibly never be able to cleanse. You know I love my family. I love my brother more than anything else in this world. Almost anything. The only thing I love more than my own brother is Rome itself. And thus with sorrow in my heart, I was forced to take his life. Oh. I see. Am I? We've met only briefly. I know your opinion of me is low. That's fine. I understand how difficult it is to accept a new member into your family. You should rejoice, though. Now that my brother is gone, you can move back into your own villa. Step outside, Senators. You will witness my brother hanging from the old tree. Let him rot there. Do not take him down. Let it be a warning to all those who would threaten Rome, placing their petty family matters over the well-being of our great Republic. 
Let it be known that Rubius Vitellius Lurco will never tolerate treason, not even from his own blood. <laughs> A decision cannot be reached. This case is non-existent. That bastard outmaneuvered us. We underestimated how cold-blooded he truly is. This is not good, though. He turned impending defeat into a major victory. We will need a new plan. Go home and lay low for now. Your family needs you. Domina, you've been awaiting your return. You have a good memory for faces. The name is Marcellus. We have been informed by Vutelius Lurco that the ownership of this villa was transferred to you. As per his orders, we kept the area safe until your arrival. Now that you're back, with your permission, we will take our leave. Waleti. Dearest daughter, you're back! And with Cineros. Oh, it's so good to see you both safe. It's good to see you, Domina. I've missed you so much! You look great! Did you lose some weight? Are you eating well? Has she been eating well, Cineros? <laughs> she has, Domina. All right, all right, I'll stop talking. But you'll have to tell me everything. Tell me about the war. I heard some of your friends died there. Killed by pirates. How did you survive? So am I. You can't guess how glad I am. Did the Legionari treat you with respect? Did you keep your womanhood secret, as I said you should? Did you, really? Well, you simply must invite her around for dinner soon. Such a unique shared experience should forge a friendship for life. I must say, Lucullus was reckless to reveal your sex at his feast like that. It has caused an uproar without equal among the senatorial class. If you permit me to disagree, Domina, Consul Lucullus' move was masterful. In placing the glory for the victory in Greece on the shoulders of your daughter, and revealing the trick in the same breath, he has made it impossible for anyone to publicly condemn her. You underestimate the Senators, Cineros. They will find a way to slander her good name in the public eye. If not today, then tomorrow. Oh, they were polite, mostly. Except for the fact they wanted me confined to this villa. I guess having me walking around the streets was too much of a risk. Once you were out of the picture, he had no reason to antagonize me, though. I do, and Akulus agreed. It was a sinister plan to take over our family. But now you're here, and everything will be fine. They told me your sister's husband is dead. She should be free by now. I wonder if they did something to her. It's good to have you home, and for it to be our home again. Now that you're back, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh, listen to me. You just got here. Go on, take some time to settle in. Let me know when you're ready to get to work. Your mother has started catching me up on how the vineyards have been going since we left. The harvest was better than expected. That is good news, of course, but it also means we have a problem. One of our grapes produced a particularly good wine. It's an opulent vintage with a smooth finish. Quite frankly, Domina, it is one of the best wines I have ever tasted. Oh, but I do. And you know I've tasted a lot of excellent wines throughout my life. This wine ranks among the best of the best. Winemaking is not an exact science. We do follow recipes, but we are subject to the whims of Dionysus. 
Every now and then, he favors you, and you may produce a wine of this caliber. It means the wine has a rich and smooth taste. An opulent wine is a bold wine. <laughs> Do not worry. Wine terminology can be weird and obscure. You will get used to it in time. The question is what we shall do with this wine. It's certainly worth more than what we normally sell for. It's the best kind of problem to have. It might be a good idea to visit some of the merchants in the market. Oh, before you leave, there's a small thing we have to decide. A good wine deserves a good name. What should we name this one? How about Endless Mirth? <laughs> That's a good name. Very well. That being settled, you should go and talk to the wine merchants. I had no doubts. You've made everyone proud, and this victory is cause for celebration. I shall cook today. Our legal system has its own intricacies, which no one but people like Kikoro understand. I'm sure the powers that be worked their magic. I don't know, it's your house. <laughs> Sit back and relax and let your Sir Wee handle things. Do bear in mind that managing an estate is no simple task, though. Now that your father is no longer with us, you will have to find a way to generate income. I think we should focus on the wine business. There used to be a lot of money in your vineyard. Did you prepare the study for the Domino's return? We took care of it this morning. Everything is ready. Have you back home safe and sound? How is it? You don't like the dress? I like it too. Kalida helped me shop for it. Hmm. In some ways it is. In others, it is not. City is big. I have never seen anything like it. And there are so many things to buy. So many different people. I love that. But there is a strange way people talk to me. Not because I am foreign. I think... But because I am woman. That I don't like. I would like that, if it is fine with you. This villa is amazing. So many statues and fancy carpets. I love your garden. It's so lush and green. And trickle of fountain calms me down. I'm so glad to be rid of those lictors. The way they looked at me. Are you going to feed the horses? I am. Is there something I should know? Don't walk behind the grey mare. A few weeks ago, she kicked a stable boy and nearly killed him. I'll be careful. <laughs> 